But yeah, so for each shrine we complete, we will get a uh, spirit orb, and spirit orbs are what we can use to upgrade our stamina or our hearts. And here comes Santa Claus. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. How did you know that? Clairvoyance, a whole orb power, perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more diff difficult to see what is in front, front, what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. It's all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? Paraglider, please. It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah Slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it said, is said. And it is interesting to however think, however to think, and something that like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. There's, these shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of these shrines, I will give you the paraglider. That was not the deal! I am altering the deal. Oh, well I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking from a, around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you joking? Ho ho ho. I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slay. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke and the shrine where you came from in the tower. You can inst travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Okay, I guess we'll go back up there. But first, I want to do some harvesting. Because even though those barrels just look... Those boxes look like just rusty-ass barrels. They actually can be breakable. They actually are breakable and can be used for a uh, victory and also treasure chests just contain victory um it's worth noting just because that treasure chest falling made me think of it that you're not gonna see much or any actually any amiibo play unless someone buys me amiibo because i don't have any and well it'll be cool but i'm not gonna spend that kind of money uh, just for that, I'll, I'll live without. This game is amazing enough without Amiibo. And I don't know. People who know me know I don't much care for Amiibo. Just, I understand it, but there's something just totally irrational about it that I don't like. Uh, I'm gonna go over and get these treasure chests and then we'll go up to the, uh... To the tower. There's a metallic thing there. I think I know what that is. I think that's gonna bring us to another. Yeah, that'll give us another Korok seed. So what it is, it's a rock on a chain. So this is what the Korok meant when there's all kinds of secret spots. So we, no! Drop. There we go. Yaha, you found me. Got a Korok seed. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, I guess I'll bring that metal plank over so I can get to get across and collect the treasure. By metal plank, I mean the one that was here. This one. I don't know if this is the intended use for it. Usually... Hmm, that's odd.
That's that's mighty suspicious looking. It's very possible and likely that you will watch me look right at a secret, comment on how it's probably a secret, and then just not solve the secret. Because like I I I'm not that interested. I want this to be organic and fun. So like I said, I'm not going for 100%, but I need to pick this up at a different angle. There we go. So now, come on, don't just, yeah. Mm. There we go. Now just gently. There we go. I've done it. We got ice arrows. And fire arrows. So we have 10 fire arrows now. That's good. Um, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Uh, so let's open up our map. And uh, go to the Great Plateau Tower. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, you do get, it does show you where you die. That's where I fell, like an idiot. There might be a little background noise because someone just came into the house and unfortunately there's not much I can do about it, but I don't think it'll be too energetic or anything like that, but we'll see. And frankly, it's not a main series, so it's just trying to keep it as casual. So it's not that big of a deal to me sometimes. People in the house talk. <laughs> but he's already waiting here for us. Oh! Well, you certainly took your time. Did you forget how to travel instantly? No, I went and did stuff. Now then, I wanted you to join me and up here so I could... Wait, I wanted you to join me up here so you're... You... I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for the shrine. Did you know you could scope on, this, on your Sheikah slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Which is very helpful. Like, I don't... Okay, whatever, I don't care what you have to say anymore. So this is actually, it actually is helpful, but now we're gonna look for shrines. So, there's one right there. Um... There's a... Tower right there. The gyro controls don't seem to be responding that well right now. Um, there's one right there. Where is the last one? That's Calamity Ganon. There's another tower. Wait. And... Okay. Where is it? It's right there. Bing! Now what? Do I just talk to you again? Having trouble finding the shrines? Help me out here. Okay. I guess I'm going back down. Because now we have the shrines, we know where we have to go. So let's just wander around for a little bit. I almost died again. I almost died a third time just there. My goodness. I'm having some troubles. It's been a it's been a while since I used the switch undocked because when I was in the hospital, I obviously did not bring the dock with me. And I just haven't set it back up until today. And it's October the 15th. So it's been some time since I've actually docked the switch and played on my TV. Um, which whatever, it's still just as fun. You can see the shrine up there, but I guess I'm just not used to the controllers or to the, uh, the, like come with the switch controller. I kind of want to get a pro controller just because I think, because believe it or not, I thought the switch recording would be the most difficult. It's actually super easy to set up and do with my current equipment, but 
I don't have that many games for it. Things. So if I start to get games for it, I think I could open up. It could open up a lot of different things. Like I don't particularly care for the game, but Animal Crossing could be done. Uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Once a Switch patch comes out that I've been told it needs, because it's it's not the greatest build right now. Uh, Breath of the Wild. We could do Mario Kart. We could do Smash Bros. We could do a whole bunch of things. I'm thinking we're doing stuff with people. But you see right there, that's a decayed, a, a decayed guardian. And the ones we have seen up to this point have been dormant, uh, but not all of them are. And let me tell you, they are scary. There's something about the music that happens when they launch. Is that magnetic? Oh, it is magnetic. I thought I was gonna have to ice that up. Oops, there's ice. There's an ice room, but we got this. What's in here? Amber. Is there bird, bird eggs up here? Nope, it's nothing. Um, so let's go to that shrine. Are you alive? This one's dead. That one looks alive. It's dead. One of these is for certain alive. It's that one. So yeah, what you want to do is not get caught and get behind something. Oh, I do not have the time for this. Uh, no, 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 no. Go away, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. Just, there's nothing here actually. Really? Yeah. Does the light, uh, the lights in its eye stay on? That's unsettling. I don't want it, I don't want it. No, 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 no. Go away. Stop! They can see you from a long ways away too. But they'll always warn you with the music. And with the... And that music is about the only thing that's not chilled out because it is piercing and it is horrifying. <laughs> See? Huh? No, no, no. Luckily, if you get to a point where they can't see you at all, you're fine. As long as there's not another one. Look at that. Oh! Like right there, perhaps! Oh. Jabaj, Jabaj Shrine. So that worked out. It brought us right to the shrine, but definitely <laughs> made a point uh, without actually trying to. It's like, well, if you just go to where there's another one, uh, you could you could easily uh, just uh, get killed again. Oops, there's another guardian. So I'll skip these cutscenes going forward, but to the second shrine. Yeah, I think we're just about at an hour mark of this recording, so I'm going to keep playing for a little bit. I don't know how in the world this is getting broke up. It might just get broken up into 20 minute parts. Because like, the nice thing is I'm truly not going to care about uh, episode lengths and all that. I'm. It's just going to be fun. It's going to be really, really relaxed. It's going to be like fun, what I expect. Like what, I, sort of like with what I do with Tony, but we're not trying to 100% the game. We're trying to just have fun and we'll break it up whenever. And if it goes forever, if it goes like 300 episodes, fine. I don't think it will, but we now have the remote bombs. The remote bombs, I like them in this game, but let me tell you, this link in Breath of the Wild is, or in uh, Super Smash Bros, is not my favorite, and remote bombs are a big part of that. I dislike the remote bomb in uh, Smash Bros. And I previously, if you watch my subspace Let's Play, I, I used Link a lot. 
Your inventory is full. I'll definitely take the big, the bigness though. Uh, your this sword is almost about to break. So let's replace the rusty sword for the big sword. But like I used Link that was in uh, in Smash Bros. Brawl a lot, and I. It's funny for me. Uh, Ultimate is basically the fourth Smash Bros. Because I literally almost never played the Wii U one. It was just such an anomaly. It just didn't ever seem that interesting or fun, which it obviously was. It was the new Smash Bros. But something about it just, it always it turned me off. I think that maybe that's just the Wii U in general, though, but... Ultimate is really good. Bang! Okay, so I guess let's go and use our bombs and blow the rest of these up. And you want to clear, clear some room, obviously. So now we can do that, but there's something over here I think we need. Right? Or am I getting fooled again? We can go get that treasure chest. This one is not magnetic, so... Won't work the same way. Amber, I'm sure, can be used for other things, but to me, the, the gems that you get in this game, like Amber, we got Opal earlier. To me, they seem... Oh, no. They seem more like just... The best thing to do with them is just sell them. Can I get up there? I actually don't know. No, there's nothing up there. But then why is this orb here? Am I stupid? I'm probably stupid. There's gotta be a place to put it. There must be something up yonder. Okay, it's not there. Uh, let's try dropping it on. Shit, okay. Forget this. Let's just see if there's anything obvious that stands out over here is where an orb could potentially go. That really looks like we can get up there. I don't know if I believe that I can't. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, let's just talk to dude. And get our second spirit orb and move on. Skip all of that, I'm not interested. <laughs> if I had the capacity, I would love to do just a series where it's just like someone playing Breath of the Wild, but with like out commentary. But I don't think I have the capacity to do that. And I also don't think it would be that interesting because once I threw it into an editor, like I guess I would just upload it raw. And it's like, here's me playing Breath of the Wild. Enjoy. Enjoy.